Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jordi from Yepper Design and welcome to the Adobe Premiere Pro basic training. Um, well, first of all, I'm using CS3, but everything I will show you can be done in any version, so that won't be a problem. Okay, um, in this tutorial, I will teach you how to use the correct settings for your project. Okay, so when you open up Premiere Pro, you'll see this window and you can choose between a new project, open project or help. Uh, well, it's obvious that you pick new project. Okay, If you click on that, you'll get a window and you've got two tabs. You've got load preset and you've got custom settings. Um, at the load preset, um, these are uh, presets uh, made, by Prim made by Adobe for you. Um, well, if you're filming with a um, HDV camera or with a uh, PAL camera or an NTSC uh, camera, uh, you'll have to choose those, those settings. So the footage you're working with has to be the same with the settings you use. Okay. Um, for example, a DV settings for PAL cameras. Uh, if you're filming with uh, just standard screen or a wide screen, you have to, you have to choose those settings. The um, kilohertz um, is the audio um, audio rate, okay? Because you see, if you're working with 12-bit uh, audio, uh, you'll have to choose uh, 32 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz for 16-bit audio, okay? So if you select uh, some of these presets, um, you can read a, uh, a description with it, and you can read more information about it, uh, all the uh, technical information about it. Okay, uh, but more information about, about these technical um, things like frame size, pix uh, frame rate, pixel aspect, and stuff like that. Uh, well, I can show you those things at the custom settings. Okay. Uh, well, you can choose uh, to start uh, your editing mode. Okay, you can choose between bit between desktop, uh, DV. Uh, and you see um, HDV and stuff like that. Um, I can explain everything with the desktop because with desktop you can choose uh, everything you want. Okay, because if I select PAL, okay, I can't change the frame size. Okay, but first I want to teach you something very interesting. Um, not much people know this, um, but um, do you know what the difference is between uh, PAL and PAL widescreen? Well, most people think that widescreen has a has a um, a different frame size. Well, it's not. It has a different pixel aspect ratio. Because uh, you can see this, um, I have selected now a uh, DV PAL, and um, I can't choose DV PAL widescreen anywhere. Uh, the reason for that is you'll have to choose if it's widescreen or not in your pixel aspect. So that means that the frame size is always the same. Okay, you see we're working with a 4.3. That means uh, we're working in a normal uh, standard uh, frame size. Uh, we're working with standard. Okay, um, or you can choose widescreen, and you'll see the pixel aspect aspect has a different um, value than a standard. Okay, so if I select this one, you'll see we're working in widescreen, 69 now, but the frame size didn't change. Okay, so the uh, pixel aspect ratio is the size of your pixels. Okay, standard, it's just for, I mean, by standard, I mean um, uh, the latest HDV, I think they have. Uh, yeah, the uh, HDC, HDV um, 720p, they use square pixels, okay, which is just one, okay, and uh, DV uh, is working with uh, another size of their pixels, okay, and by these, by the size of their pixel, they can create um, widescreen or other uh, for formats actually, but not uh, frame size, okay. So I've explained the frame size and pixel aspect rate, you know, so you know what that means. Um, let me just pick desktop now. And um, let me just tell you something interesting about the frames per second, okay? Um, I hope everybody understands that uh, a movie is nothing else than just images um, on a timeline. So um, if you can choose between uh, all these settings here. So if you say uh, 10 frames per second, that that means you see 10 still images 
and one second okay so that's the speed of your video actually so the uh, the quality actually also uh, so if you choose 10 frames per second you'll see your uh, video lagging a bit okay so that that it will play in shocks uh, so I recommend to take above uh, 24 or 23 comma blah 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 frames per second okay I recommend that if you pick uh, a very high frames per second so it will just larger up your video and you won't notice it okay the eye of the human being isn't that fast uh, 30 frames per second is, is the highest you should go uh, by my opinion uh, of course um, so I will always stick between these um, frames per second now um, if you pick 23 comma blah 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 and um, you'll have to choose here your d uh, display format uh, you can choose between uh, 24 frames time code uh, non drop fr feed frames blah blah, blah. Um, I recommend to take frames always take frames and the reason for that is uh, like for example, if you use these 24 frames per second time codes, you'll see that these things are not similar, and that there will be a slight um, corruption in your video when while editing. Okay, so this is the display format while editing. Okay, uh, so I just recommend to take frames, and this will always uh, be so. Whatever you take, it will always uh, be good. Okay, it will just show each frame. Okay. Um, then the title safe area, um, well, I don't know why they made something like that in Premiere Pro. Uh, well, just when you're adding a title, um, so you can, so that will show some lines uh, that your title will be in a safe area, so it will always be displayed in your video, but, okay, it doesn't matter uh, what you take here, okay, just leave it on 2020 and 10.10, okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, now the audio. Um, your sample rate is the quality of your audio. Uh, so if you use uh, 32 kilohertz or um, 69 kilo, uh, 96 kilohertz, uh, well, this is the uh, quality, as, as, I, as, I, as I said before. Um, so how higher the hertz, how higher the quality of your audio. But beware of this. Um, how higher you pick, uh, how more RAM uh, memory it will take. Okay, so if your system isn't that great, I'll, I'd say don't pick so uh, that high. But of course, if you're filming uh, with a camera that just uh, captured your audio with uh, 48 kilohertz, you'll have to pick 48 kilohertz. Okay, that's obvious. Uh, display formats, audio samples, milliseconds. That's for you. Uh, what the easiest is. Okay, um, doesn't really matter. Uh, oh, your samples is good. That you just pick what it, what uh, what's easy for you. Okay, this will just the display format is the uh, way it will be display while editing. This this is the same for the video, but I recommend to take frames because uh, that will be uh, more clear. -der, okay, <laughs> um, this is for the general settings. You can also uh, look at the capture settings, and you'll just see two things to pick: DV or HDV. Okay, HDV is high definition for those who don't know that yet, and DV is just uh, standard uh, like NTSC and PEL. Okay, so you just pick out the ones you you will be using. Then the video rendering and the default sequence. Um, not gonna speak. I'm not gonna explain that. Um, standard. This is all standard. Good. Okay. So that's the thing about the. Uh, technical data about the uh, project settings okay and then you can start you can give it a location you can say browse to give it some other location and then you can give your project a name for example test and when you press ok Premiere Pro will open up okay uh, thank you for watching this tutorial and I'll hope and I hope you learned something out of it um, I'm Jordi from Mipper Design and thank you for watching